as we have already discussed about the plant location now the next topic that we are going to cover is plant layout what types of plant layout and how the layout is being designed now let's move forward to the type of plant layout there are basically four type of plant layout first is product or line layout the another one is process layout or we can call it functional layout also another one is combined layout and followed by static layout or fixed position layout let's uh, discuss the first layout that is product or we can call it line layout the product layout involves the arrangement of machine in one line depending upon the sequence of operations product layout is usually suitable for assembling operations for example in the automobile industry where the material moves to another machinery subsequently without any backtracking or deviation that is the output of one machine becomes input for the next machine it requires a very little material handling it is basically used for the mass production of standardized product here the product will go to first workstation followed by second workstation then third workstation fourth workstation depending upon the scheduling and routing then the product will once the raw material entered into the conveyor belt it get converted into the final product the next the advantages of product layout there are certain advantages of this kind of layout is it is low cost there is low cost of material handling it is very smooth and continuous operations is possible low cost of material handling because due to straight and short route and absence of backtracking continuous flow of work it includes lesser inventory and work in progress optimum use of floor space can be possible simple and effective inspection of work and simplified production control is there lower manufacturing cost per unit there are certain disadvantages with this this type of product layout that it is the capital investment is higher initially it includes direct high overhead charges the indirect charges breakdown of one machine will disturb the entire production process lesser flexibility of physical resources if you want the major disadvantages mis disadvantage with this type of system is this that once if you want to expand your plant if you want to expand the production then you cannot add on one or two machinery you have to rebuild or you have to assemble the entire machine entire production line the duplicate product production line you have to uh, inculcate if you want to increase the production then the next type of uh, plant layout is the process layout in this type of layout the machine of similar type are arranged together this type of layout is used for batch production where the batch production in, is done this is a typical this is typically a job shop type of production where the equipment performing similar operations is grouped together such a layout is particularly useful where the volume of manufacturing is low and the variety of jobs is great for example machineries as as we can see in the um, diagram that there it is divided into the work work stations are divided into different departments machineries performing drilling operations are fixed in the drilling department similarly machines performing casting operations are grouped together in casting departments in this way there would be a heating department a painting department a machining department and the like where similar machines are installed in plants which follows the process layout this process has certain advantages the initial level investment the initial level capital investment is low there is a high degree of machine utilization as the machine is not blocked for single product the overhead cost is relatively low 
breakdown of one machinery doesn't disturb the entire production process. Supervision can be more effective and specialized. Greater flexibility of resources can be achieved through this process. There are certain dis disadvantages also. It, uh, the material handling cost is very high in this kind of process. More skilled labor is required and more work in progress inventory is there. Frequent inspection is needed. It is a combination of process and product layout. Manufacturing concern where several products are produced in repeated number with no likelihood of continuous production combined layout is followed at that place. Last but not the least is fixed position layout. This fixed position layout involves the movement of manpower and machine to the product which remains stationary. The movement of man and machine is advisable as the cost of moving them would be lesser. This type of layout is preferred where the size of job is bulky and heavy. There are certain advantages and disadvantages of fixed layout. The investment on layout is very small. The layout is flexible as change in job design and operation sequence can be easily incorporated. Adjustment can be made to meet shortage of material or absence of worker by changing the sequence of operations. There are various disadvantages also of fixed position layout. As the production period being very long, so the capital investment is very high. Another disadvantage with this is kind of system is that it, it very large space is required for storage of material and equipment near the product. And at several operations are often carried out simultaneously. So there may be a possibility of confusion and conflict among different work groups.